G'day football fans and welcome back to episode 2 of our Baby De Bruyne, our player career mode here on Dylan on the Ball. Today we are taking on Bayern Munich in the Super Cup here in Germany. Before we get cracking and get right into it, I'll just remind you guys to please leave us a like down below, subscribe if you're new around here, if you're enjoying the series, if you want to see where Chaz Gerhard's career goes. Comment down below what you think of the video, what you think we can improve. I do really want to hear from you. If you have any idea what you'd like to see in terms of because we're not going to play every single game in a video. We're going to, like, Chaz's as highlights of the games in between. So there was a, a friendly against Arsenal and a friendly against Manchester United. So we've got highlights for Chaz for those games. So every one of the highlights at the end of the game, like, you know, the highlights that it gives you. Um, every one of those that Chaz was involved in, whether it's setting someone up, having a shot, having a goal, an assist, or whatever it might be, that's what I'm showing you at the minute. So you won't see all of the goals that happen in the match. Because if I end up doing that, it might end up just taking too long. That's my theory anyway. So uh, what I really want to hear from you is if you have another idea of what you'd like to see for the in-between games, whether it is you'd like to see the just the goals for the game, not Chaz Gerhard's highlights, or you'd like to see Chaz Gerhard's stats, like his passing, his shooting, his whatever, um, you know, the, the, these, the statistics you get at the end of each game, let me know. Because really, um, as I said in the first episode, I guess uh, this is... You know, fairly new to the channel and not something I'm super attached to the format of. So if you have an idea of how you'd like it to run, let me know. And uh, we'll see what we can do to try and get it going in uh, sort of the nicest way possible, I guess. What we're doing for this video is I've got highlights, as I said, of what Chaz did in our friendlies against Arsenal and United. So you'll see those, then we'll go through to the full match against Bayern Munich in the Super Cup. What I want to do is play one full game per video, but it's the it's the bit in between that I need that. Just that guidance on. Whatever you reckon, guys. Let me know. We'll see what we can do. Secondly, I've got you sitting on this screen just so you can get a little bit of an idea of the levels that Mr. Gerhard is at at the moment. Because, like, obviously, I like, in the games in between, I'll gain the XP. In the trainings in between, gain XP, level up, and start adding attributes here and there. So... On the screen, you'll get a bit of an idea of where he's at. You can see he's not super outstanding at anything physically or mentally. Good stamina for a young fella. Then looking at his technicals, good passing ball control. Really, he's a very generic looking midfielder at the moment, isn't he? But long way to go and a big career ahead of Chaz Gerhard. Alrighty, that's enough of a wrap up and messing around. Let's get through to those highlights that I mentioned. We've got the Arsenal game and the Manchester United game. So starting with Arsenal here early on, a good cross from Mr. Gerhard to the back post for Thorgan Hazard, who can't quite beat Aaron Ramsdale. It's a good cross, really picked him out. Just too far away from Tomiyasu to get there. Uh, and Hazard beats a header straight to the keeper. Good pass there from Gerhard to Hazard, gives it back. Saved at the near post by Ramsdale. This game did end up 2 all. I think we took a 2-0 lead. Uh, can't remember who scored to be completely honest with you and uh, then Arsenal came roaring back to 2 all. next highlight is another opportunity for Mr. Gerhard good little interplay little step over the ball as it goes to Haller there Haller then plays it to him a little bit rushed trying to get it away from Ben White there and big save yet again from Aaron Ramsdale another opportunity here just in a little pocket of space well outside the box have a bit of a go for the far post Ends up going a bit wide, not, you know, the, the, the best of efforts, but, you know, it's it, it, it's coming. There's there's definitely signs you can see that we're picking out the good spaces, the good passes, things like that. Another great pass here for Haller it was. You can see it's 2-all in the, or you could see that it was 2-all. Um, Haller with a big opportunity laid on here, set up by Gerhard. Can't quite make it happen. 2-all draw. Then against United early on here, four minutes in, draws in the centre back, lays a little pass off to Ottavio, the new signing at Dortmund. A nice little first career assist for Chaz Gerhard. Nice little touch and uh, pass around the corner after he draws in Lisandro Martinez, plays through Ottavio, who fires it through for 1 0. They drew level. We've then got a nice. Oh, long range effort from Chaz Gerhard. Doesn't quite work out, but again, we're finding good areas in those little pockets of space outside the box. This effort not too far away. Just wide of the post at the end of the day. Then again, towards the end of the match, it's one all. This time it's a big save from David De Gea. Just dropped off the defensive line. You can see I was in the box a bit. 
dropped back for a little bit more room, tried to fire at far post, but De Gea saves that one and it ends one all. That takes us through to the Super Cup today against Bayern Munich at the Dusseldorf Arena. Our lineup looking very strong. We do have the new boy in there of Otavio. We are starting in the center attacking mid role ahead of Bellingham and Chan with Seb Haller ahead of us. I think we've actually had more success when we've had Daniel Marlin ahead of us, but you know, maybe it's just something to get used to and uh, need to work out how I can do better at finding Seb Haller, I guess. I should also say, like, we are playing on Legendary. The first game that we did play, it did go rather well. I think, I can't remember actually, if you remember from the last video, I think it was a 3 0 win, but I may be wrong there. Um, I know we did get a goal, which was great. Um, we then played the next two games got two draws, like a two-all, a one-all, and we only got one assist, no goals, um, didn't go too well. So maybe a little drop back down to earth, and today will be no different. It's going to be tough, it's going to be hard, against a very, very good Bayern Munich side. Only the one real change from exactly what you'd expect, uh, and that is, I'm assuming that's Gerard Moreno up front from Villarreal. Um, and the, look, the back line looks a little out of shape in the, the center of defense anyway. Anyway, let's get through to it. I don't want to make this series too long and annoying. You know, I don't want to take the full 10 minutes to, to get to kick off or anything. I want to just get through it. I want to get to the games. I don't want to, uh, let's just get to it. Let's see how good Mr. Gerhard can do against just the, the biggest competition he'll get in the league. Here we go then. We are at the Dusseldorf Arena looking fantastic. Dortmund versus Bayern Munich. I will say that I... I'm going to refute, like, the point of this series was to, you know, get good, move to a bigger team, become a superstar player, become the new De Bruyne. Um, I will not move to Bayern Munich. Like, I refuse to move to Bayern Munich. That is the one thing, like, I don't want to be like Lewandowski, like Hummels was, you know. I don't want to, like Mario Goetz, uh, back in the day, like... I don't want to do that. I won't be doing that. It'll be either, you know, a Premier League team, a Barcelona, Real Madrid, PSG, even something like that, rather than, you know, making Bayern Munich even better than they already are. They do not need my help. Anyway, another reminder, please leave us a like, subscribe, comment, all the things. Let's get to kick off. Let's absolutely do it. All right, underway here. I'm wondering how much of the ball we'll actually see in this game. I might need to, you know, make sure that I am switched on defensively and staying in good little pockets of immediately let Gravenberg run off me and don't do anything about it. Komen attacking here. It's going to be a long day without the ball, I think. Oh, nearly nipped in there and got it from Komen. Gravenberg now, edge of the box to Muller. It's already three minutes in. They've just passed absolutely around us. None of our players have stuck a foot in. <laughs> and it's 1-0 already to the Bayern Munich. This is... This might be a very long day. Oh, goodness me. Bit of passing around. Nothing too spectacular. No one sticks with Muller. And Gravenberg puts it on a plate for him. A good finish into the near post. Beyond Gregor Kobel. And this isn't good. This is not good at all. I haven't even touched the ball yet. And we're down 1-0. That's not promising. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of those passes. Like, if, if it's just from the kickoff. We're putting it out wide. But it's a good touch on the ball. That's a good turn and pass as well. That's a good through ball. Can we get anything happening here? Oh, Hallett made the same run as I did, and that was not great. Maybe I should have not made that run anyway. All right, corner ball here. Swung in towards the center, towards Haller. <gasps> Off the line, are you serious? Oh, my days. I think that may have been Kingsley Coman on the line. Oh, we've intercepted that. Oh, oh, I just want some space now. I just thought I was going to lose that straight away. Haller back out to Hazard. Hazard again, now to Bellingham. I think that might be Hazard again. Oh, man. Finds me from range. Oh, okay. That was, look, ambitious. It's going to take a lot to beat Manuel Neuer from that sort of range. But, you know, it was a good, good solid hit. Like, I didn't screw the shot too badly. It just went straight at old mate. And he, and he caught it quite easily. Because that's just what's going to happen. Counter-attack here for Munich. Second time they've gone forward. Thankfully, we managed to rescue that one. Play in Chan there. Chan plays it wide for Hazard. Or Guerrero, maybe. Oh, just over my head. You're kidding. I was ready to, like, take it down on the chest and then volley it or something like that. Here we go. Another pass there for Mounier. Plays it to us just down the side. We can ship it back for Haller. On the head. Oh, Near post saved by Manuel Neuer. 
I was kind of hoping that I'd put it a little bit behind Haller and he'd like scissor kick that or something, but I look, I accept that I might be asking too much there. <laughs> uh, another attack for Bayern Munich, they head forward, Alfonso Davies back to Thomas Muller inside the box, out to Leroy Sane, jeez they got a good bloody team don't they, Komen well tackled there, do we win that? No, well done I think that's Hernandez to Gravenberg, Komen now edge of the box, tackled well, I think that was Hummels, now Hazard can come away with it, right decision there probably to head back. We give it to Hazard, to Guerrero. Oh, we play Seb Haller in. Good bit of space. Wow, he's taken away from the keeper. You absolute spud. That was a great through ball for Seb Haller. But he, his first touch took him away from goals. Like he had no hope of shooting from there, really. This is, this is going to be the biggest test of our season, playing against Bayern Munich. That looked like a foul. Like he surely took me out for... Anyway, this is going to be the hardest test of the season, so... I guess a match where I really have to accept that I'm not going to be on the ball much, <laughs> really, is the first thing. But also have to make the most of counter-attacking opportunities, like, sort of like this. Oh, good ball for Haller. Haller's through. Go on. Go on, Sebastian. Hit that. Get in! It's an assist. Go on, Seb Haller. We found a little pocket of space on the counter-attack, ran away from the middle of the pitch, cut inside one defender. Good through ball for Seb Haller, who had made a good run away from uh, Hernandez. Gave himself a good amount of room. Fire it across Manuel Neuer for one all. Look, a beautiful assist. Very De Bruyne-like, if you ask me. And it is one all. Done well to come back after, you know, conceding after 13 seconds. Done rather well. Good intercept there. Mounier then gives it straight away. Brilliant. Cheers, Tom. Lero Sane now. I should not be back here, apparently. Mounier does well, wins it there. We are off and away again. Oh, we'll just... I'm just wanting space, really. How have they not tackled me yet? <laughs> What's happening here? Oh, my God. Oh, big save. I think that was Emre Chan had got himself into the box. Gets on the end of my cross. I don't know why none of them tackled me there. Like, I... Like, I didn't... There was no skill move. There was no trickery. Just sort of a one tiny change's pace. I think that stat said that we've had four shots on target to their one. Which is pretty... Oh, they might get another one here. Here's Thomas Muller in the box. Cross for Komen. Has a go. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fire it in near post. Yep. Yeah. No block. No save. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly... Exactly how it goes, isn't it? You're against Bayern Munich. They are too good. It is 2-1 to Bayern. Counter-attack, big ball over the top for Muller. Kingsley Komen then at the near post. Uh, like, surely Guerrero there closes him down. Uh, no, nah. just lets him have his shot. Finds a, the nearest, like the slightest of his holes for the ball to go through. And we bloody concede, it's 2-1. Nearing half time. And I think we've done rather well to create a number of opportunities. Another little pocket of space. Guerrero plays into Bellingham. Now to Hazard. Oh, the, if I could have got that inch of room, I might have been able to slip Bellingham in. And do well to close that down. It might have been Hernandez. But, you know, we've, we've got ourselves a nice little assist. We've got, you know, a couple of other chances created for Haller and for Emre Chan. Play... Oh, well, that was never going to work, was it? <laughs> Trying to beat Alfonso Davies in a foot race was never going to work. Oh, Manuel Neuer. That near the nightmare fuel for his manager. But it's 2 1 at the break. We're definitely in the game. Hopefully, in the second half, we can keep creating. Because, I mean, we've shown that we can break them down. We've shown that we can create good chances. We just need to take a couple of them. All right, second half underway. Lots and lots of those passes where I just get the ball at the edge of the center circle and put it out to one of our wide backs. It's like a, a, a Chaz Gerhard uh, trademark pass. Here's another one out to the wide back to Mounier. Oh, I'm now playing right centre mid. Does that mean we've gone to a 4-3-3? Oh, I can't get around Delict there. All right, we have indeed changed to a 4-3-3. So I am playing as the right centre mid. 
with Emre Chan as the holding midfielder, which I guess means I should probably get back further or try more defensively. Good clearance there by Chan, but then Haller flicks it on to absolutely no one. Like there was never going to be anyone there. He just flicks it on for the sake of it. Already getting passed around. Good hit that from Leroy Sane. The spaces that we were once occupying with our two holding midfielders are now passing around well. Good ball there from Mounier to Otavio. I guess this is our opportunity. Look, I, uh, it was ambitious. Um, this is our opportunity to very much play like De Bruyne does for Manchester City. Like the sort of the central midfield role, but a very attacking one. We'll play this out to Guerrero. Surely you cross that, mate. What the heck? What is that? Guerrero <laughs> Hazard. What are we doing? Cross the damn ball. Oh my days. We're just giving people absolute gold and they can't cross the ball. Oh, and now I'm <laughs> way out of position. Because we've gone to this 4-3-3. I'm... Oh man, I should be further back than I was. And now Komen plays in Muller. Big block that. Why did we do that? Oh my god. Some of the decision making of the like AI in on your team is just silly, isn't it? Hazard plays it back. Oh, poor touch. Puts it straight to Kimmich. Oh, Dortmund now. I mean, Dortmund. Bayern now. Oh, here's a, here's a go. Outside the box. Oh, off the bar. You're kidding. Oh. Like the first real opportunity, like first bit of room that we've got to have a shot. Managed to beat Manuel Neuer, which is not something I'm going to be able to say too many times in my career. But, uh, I mean, Chaz is going to, sorry, Chaz is going to be able to say too many times in his career, I should say. Because I am not Chaz Gerhard. My name is Dylan, as you could probably guess. Oh dear. Play line. Line, 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 line. Oh, Raphael. Not too much enjoying this central midfield role. I feel like are you serious? What the hell was that? Are we going to get... If we concede, uh, and after that, I'm going to absolutely miffed. Here's Kingsley Coman up against Guerrero. For Moreno. Yes, there we go. Who did we come in on there? Was that Masraoui, maybe? Oh, good ball. What? I'm sure that it said that Haller was injured. Oh, well. All right. The little bit of advantage that we did have on the counter-attack there after my wonderful defensive effort. Uh, the same bloke just came and ruined it at the end of it. Komen now, edge of the box, for Masraoui. Komen again. Back to Moreno, for Masraoui. Back to Moreno, big intercept. Oh no. Oh dear. Here we go. Here's a counter. Go on. Yes, sir. Good ball from Haller. We are through. Is Otavio on the right? Finish that, son. He's offside. No, no. Surely you just stay behind us there. Oh, you absolute spoon. How has he gone offside there? Like, surely, mate. Oh, you're a fool. You're an absolute fool. That was our opportunity. I don't have the pace to, like... I don't really have the pace to, like, get around the centre backs like that and you know as they were I'm right wing now what um oop. oh almost um like to get around them and I you know in an ideal world would have you know taken that into the box uh oh I cannot keep up with their players at all Kingsley Coman in the box 3-1 I cannot keep up with their players Alfonso Davies just sprinted away the scoreboard is absolutely broken <laughs> And now Kingsley Goman has made it 3-1. I just cannot keep up with people. There is absolutely no hope there of keeping up with Alfonso Davies. Then just slick passing. Mane, who's come off the bench, gives it to Kingsley Coman. And he's got all the space in the box. I mean, it's a it's a slick counter-attack. We couldn't keep up with him. We've changed formations again, I think, because I'm now on the right wing for some reason. Which, like, I, I guess I'm a decent crosser in theory or m2b i mean not like my crossing stat isn't good yet but like in in time i will be there's a ball over the top looking for royce is it surely cross that <laughs> surely 
All right, I'm going to lose my mind at the lack of crossing that this team does because they just want to dribble it and then pass it. But just cross the damn ball. We've got Sebastian Haller as our striker. Cross the ball. You herb. Julian Branton. Chips it in. Gives it the most air pop. That was the most chip he could have possibly put on the ball there. That was ridiculous. Oh, man. All right, this is where I start getting frustrated because it's so many times it's like things beyond my control like the speed of Alfonso Davies oh here's a chance Marlon it's it's 3-2 excuse my rant it's 3-2 Daniel Marlon's come back into it we get a little bit of room for him a little ball over the top not sure what happened to Bayern's defensive line but it's a great ball over the top by whoever the heck that is Gio Reyna maybe Geez, we've got a lot of attacking mids. I shouldn't have signed for this team. We've got way too many people that should be playing ahead of me. I hate this thing. Because it never ends up being a good view. Like, I don't want to see... Who wants to see that view of that goal? Doesn't make any sense. It is 3-2, though. We're running out of time. Have we gone to a 4-4-2, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what position I'm meant to be playing. I've got to be completely honest with you. It just said right wing. But I'm like, well, what's everyone else doing? Like, could it tell me... Hey... Oh, Jeebus. Could it tell me... 4-3-3, three, three. you're playing the right winger. We've still got three midfielders, don't worry about it. I don't know. Muller with a long range over there. Good save by Gregor Kobel. We're running out of time. Down 3-2. Nabry now runs straight past me. Well done. I think that's Emre Chan did well there. Oh, damn it. Just tried to slide in Daniel Marlin there. Read well by Matthijs De Ligt, and now they're about to score. What happened? Like, what? how was there that much space for them to just run the heck through? Don't get it. No one in our midfield can do a damn thing. Luckily, Gregor Kobel can get to that one. But that's it. That's game. That's, that's the end of it. We're going to lose 3-2 unless they score from this corner. Which, oh, I, I definitely thought the keeper would catch that one. He catches it on the second effort, but unfortunately, there's no time to counter, and it is a 3-2 win in the Super Cup for Bayern Munich. Look, not going to say it was our best game ever. I feel like I didn't really contribute much, but at the end of the day, we were against Bayern Munich, so I think they were probably the favourites to, to do good things in the game. Unfortunately, as you see there, we do go down 3-2. That will be like the toughest opponents we have. So knowing that we were, you know, pretty close, we did have a good few moments. Like we got an assist, which is lovely. We had a couple of other moments of, of nearly getting there. Like in the first half, we did create chances for both Chan and Haller, additional to the assist. Second half wasn't as good. I think the chopping and changing positions definitely threw me around a bit of a loop. I didn't really understand what was going on around me, but that's just something to get used to with the team, I suppose. Um, and that, and that'll, that'll come with playing games. Next video, we'll come back for the end of this next month, September, we'll versus Sevilla. The team that I'm doing in Football Manager, which of course you'd know because you're watching every Dylan on the Ball video because you love it. We've got six, seven games between now and then. Yeah, so we've got Bochum, Gladbach, who we might have signed for if the wheel had gone their way. Werder Bremen, Augsburg, Copenhagen, Frankfurt, and Freiburg in between. So, like I said at the start of the video, let me know if there's another way you'd like me to do the highlights. I think it sort of works well doing just the highlights of what I do or Chaz Gerhard's involvement in those matches. But if you have another idea, please do let me know. Otherwise, that'll wrap it up for uh, for episode two of our De Bruyne regen, our baby De Bruyne, whatever you want to call him. Chaz Gerhard will be back shortly. Until next time, when we go again in the Champions League against what feels like my alma mater, you know what I mean? Anyway, peace.